So on this one, all right, we have a lovely word problem, which Sam, we have not talked about so far yet. So the main thing about a word problem, especially when we're doing our trig, is we have to be able to develop um, a picture. And so far, we've only dealt with right triangles. So when you're creating your picture, make sure again that you have right triangles so you can apply your trig. So it says a 16-foot ladder leans up against a wall, forming an angle of elevation of 45 degrees from with the ground. So we have a ladder. So here's the wall. There's the ground. All right. It says there's a ladder that forms an angle of elevation. All right. Just real quick. That's angle of elevation. All right. That is an angle of depression. All right, when it's going down, obviously that's depression. Going up would be elevation. Okay? So we have an angle of elevation, 45 degrees. And it says the ladder is how long? 16? Yep. And it says how high is the wall on the ladder? All right, so to solve this, what we need to do, who's this? this um, to solve this, again, we just need to set up our trig function. We look at this. It's not in the unit circle, so you can't do anything like that. But you need to say, all right, I can evaluate this with using trig. So I notice I have the opposite and the hypotenuse. So which trig function would I want to use? Sine. So we can say sine of the angle, which is 45 degrees, equals opposite over hypotenuse. Now this one, actually, we don't need. We already know the angle, so we can just multiply by 16 on both sides. So I have 16 times sine of 45 degrees equals x. Then you just need to make sure that your calculator is in degree format. Since my angle is in degrees, I just type 16 times the sine of 45. And therefore, x equals 11.31. And that's going to be our length. I don't think they gave us a dimension. That was the word I was thinking about. <laughs> Dimensions. Did they give us dimension? 16 foot, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's it.